Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about that moment right before you see the new Star Wars movie. Uh, so today is about 8 a.m. on uh, Thursday, December 14th, 2017, and at 11 p.m. tonight, I will see the new Star Wars film, Star Wars The Last Jedi. And I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on what a special moment this is, right? So, um, you know, we're just so blessed to have these new Star Wars movies at the frequency we're having them. You know, I don't, I, I think five, ten years ago, if you had, if somebody had said, you know, Disney would be the owner of Star Wars and we would have, you know, a mega franchise that would be, you know, bringing forth blockbusters on a, on a routine basis... I think people, a lot of people would have contested that, right? So I really like where everything's landed. I'm really excited about what's happening with, with the ownership of Star Wars by Disney. I, as a fan, I think I've been tremendously uh, blessed by that by that change. Um, I, you know, I've really liked uh, Force Awaken. I really liked Rogue One. And I'm incredibly excited for Last Jedi. But one of the things I think is, <clears throat> right now, is a really special time because... Um, right now, canon is stable, right? And in that, you know, we know what is in the Star Wars universe. And, you know, at 11, <laughs> at 11.30 tonight, after the previews are gone, you know, over and there's 10 minutes on the screen, that canon, the Star Wars canon, will be added to, right? And there'll be new things, right? So a good example of this would be in, um, in Rogue One, you had the Hammerhead Blockade Runner. Right, and that is a unique type of ship which is now in Star Wars canon because it appeared in a Star Wars film. And so tonight, you know, when I see that new film, there's going to be a lot of additions to canon. By the way, sorry if I didn't say this already. Zero spoilers in this. Uh, and also, I have been successful in not getting any spoilers uh, for the movie itself, which is great. I, mean, I was pretty careful, and no spoilers. Uh, no spoilers. So. It's just really special time because, we, you know, canon is, you know, just the fact that people say Star Wars canon, you know, it just shows you how far this intellectual property has gone. And it's, it's incredible. It really is incredible because people care about Star Wars canon. They care about what's in the world, what's not in the world. They care about what is the tone of that canon. What is, you know, what is the reach? What are the limits of that canon? And, you know, we really are in the best of both worlds. Like, the, the Star Wars canon has been very carefully protected over the years. And there were decisions that were made to determine what's in canon and what's not. And, um, you know, so, there, so one of the things that's going to happen tonight is I know that there's going to be new things, brand new things that come out of left field that just come from the team that created this film, right? That will be added to canon. I also know that there are going to be things that, uh, just small or even medium questions that surrounded previous canon that will be answered tonight, right? In addition to that, the, ext the expanded universe, which got swept aside and was, was you know, and, and is called Star Wars Legacy now, right? Um, all of that, all of that, you know, basically... Some of that is probably going to get swept in tonight and recircled back and re-pulled into canon, right? So there's just there's just a lot of things that are that are on the line. So I'm really excited about it. I'm getting to see it with friends of mine, which is really fantastic. Um, that's just wonderful. I'm really excited to be able to see this with my friends. I think you know that's that's really that's become a part of of Star Wars, right? Uh, I think. For a long time, Star Wars was, was really me and my family. My, me and my brother were really into Star Wars. But now, you know, to, like, I, we bought our tickets a while ago for my family. And when my wife, my wife bought our tickets, she bought two tickets for tonight. Because she knows I absolutely have to see it on opening night. And then uh, we bought an entire set of tickets for our family on Saturday. And, um, and so... You know, we're, we're ready. So, and for a long time, Star Wars was for family. But now, you know, I have a group of friends. So I'll be seeing this with one more friend, you know, tonight. And we'll be circling up with another group. We'll be seeing it at a similar time in the same theater. Probably not in the same movie theater building, but not in the same theater. And then we'll circle up and we'll probably go out for pancakes or whatever afterwards. And just, you know, have a, have a nice meal and discuss the entire event. 
and that's really unique and special, you know. And and I'm just so happy with uh, with all of the decisions that have led to this point, where you know, on this day, right now, I get to I'm I'm actually really excited to to see a new Star Wars film, and it's just so wonderful. Another thought I was having is is the courage of the sequel, right? So Disney has decided to do sequels to the original Star Wars, a sequel trilogy, Star Wars, you know, seven, eight, and nine, and that is such a big deal because I have become convinced that prequels serve the art creator and sequels serve the art experiencer, right? Prequels are. Um, Rather than say what I think about prequels, I'll try... I think prequels in many ways are the opposite of sequels. <clears throat> so, I'll say this. I think sequels are an act of courage, right? You're going to add to canon, and you're going to make things different. And when you do that, you risk destroying what you created, right? But risk is where awesome things happen. They really are. And so, you know, we're, we're telling a story for right now. And we can talk about... And we can allow... Star Wars to be a reflection of our culture and our society and to make points you know about our lives today and also in a way that's fun right and I think there's an incredible amount of risk in 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 this in this sequel trilogy and I'm so happy for that risk because um, they did of course do a prequel back in the early 2000s and um, you know and now we're we're getting to see the sequel, and I, and I'm really hoping that that's what happens with the Harry Potter series as, as well, especially in, you know, um, actually Potter is in its is in its prequel days right now, where the creations that are being created are, I think, primarily for the art creator and not so much for the art experiencer. Uh, they're you know they're bounded and they're safe, and you know, canon really isn't going to be impacted that much. Um, whereas what's happening right now with Star Wars is truly an act of courage on the part of the studios, and it is a tremendous, awesome uh, event for us as fans. So right now, this this I just really wanted to, to speak to all of you out there. I wanted to you know uh, remember this moment with you and and just kind of put a punctuation point on it myself. You know, right now my understanding of of Star Wars is is a distinct thing and there are limitations on it that will not exist tonight there'll be new things in that world new characters in that world new vehicles in that world new weapons in that world new planets in that world and that is truly exciting uh so uh, thank you very much and i'm super excited to see the movie tonight take care